open a laptop and close off the rest of the world. Michelle Jackson, yeah, it's a whole nother place, is an expert at that. I create a lot of content around personal finance, social equity policy and change. Jackson's full time job is providing money moves for her thousands of followers, but her part time gig, oh, it's so dirty, <laughs> is a little less clean. <laughs> So th this one, if you're into Sons of Anarchy, like, go for it. <laughs> Jackson is a writer, a particular type of one. And so because I talk a lot about money and policy and just things like that, um, it can be heavy, which is why I like to write romance. It's the complete opposite. Jackson has self-published at least 13 romance books. All of my female main, main characters are African-American because I've read a lot of romances and we're not in as many as I would like to see. So I'm like, anyone, any books that I write are going to be that. Yes, there's good. Cliff Kiefer will be the first to say, Yeah, this is a cool one. This is a good one. Jackson is right. Because I'm sensitive to it in that when I'm putting them on a shelf, it's like, oh, this is this is a an, you know, an African-American themed romance. And they're so seldom that I'm always thinking, how can I display these so that it's easy for someone looking? Kiefer owns the book niche in Aurora, a store with roughly 15,000 romance novels. And then you do the math and it's like, oh, you know, it's a lot. Kiefer bought the store just a couple of years ago and quickly learned romance readers are his regulars. Yeah, it, it's not just little old ladies. Romance is not dead. It's not a comeback. It's always been. Ask Jackson and she'll say romance is gaining steam. And I thought it was the best thing ever. <laughs> As she encourages others to create the world they want to see. If you are wanting to see a book that represents you or a lived experience that you really wish was out there, write the book. I'm going to share stories that share women that look like me. Jalisa Rosari, 9 News.